Right then lads, episode 3 of the Road to Glory is here. And as you can see, we've actually got a completely different starting level now. Because of the previous episode where we've done another 85 times 10 pack, we got some new cards that I think will influence the, the squad quite significantly. Mostly the, the right wing back and left wing back in this starting level. There's still some concept items there as well, so we technically don't have a squad yet, but this is definitely the direction that I want to take with my team. Now in today's video, um, I'm actually going to do some SBCs to kick things off. Firstly, I do want to be completing some SBCs such as marquee matchups and additionally getting swap tokens. After that, unfortunately, I want to graft even more tokens, so I potentially have to do like squad battles. Don't worry, I'm not going to include that in the video. It's dead content, but I just know that it's going to be worth it in the long run considering the rewards that you can get from submitting them when the swaps do finally come around. So as you can see under the favourites tab, this is actually the challenges that I do want to complete as mentioned, um, a focus on getting summer swap tokens. So there's two of them available right now as SBCs and then marquee matchups for tradable rewards. Additionally, I suppose on top of these you do get um, tradable packs, but not really sure if we're going to actually get anything useful from them. Additionally as well, I do have some um, silver rare untradable items right now. So I think I'm going to kick off the video a 75 times 5 pack. Now, of course, if you are enjoying the Road to Glory content, drop a like. Let's see if can it 250 ratings and do subscribe to the channel if you want you. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you'd be interested in for FIFA 23. Unfortunately, not a special card, just going to be an 83 rated Zapata, so kind of disappointing, I suppose. Let's see if there's anything else inside the pack that's decent. Premier League 82 rated fodder. Could have been worse, but I was hoping at least to get a special item. Let's go complete the other challenges. Right, the lads' marquee matchups has finally been completed. It was a little bit more of an investment than I expected. We put around 40,000 coins into this, so hopefully we can make some profit back. Uh, you can see we've got all five packs. You do get one for each segment of the squad build challenge, and then one for completing it as a whole. And um, we'll just jump into today with the jumbo premium gold pack. Obviously, each one is tradable as a reward. If it wasn't, um, it definitely wouldn't be worth investing into. Cards right now though, just like gold rares in general, pretty expensive. So if I do decide to just sell all of the components from these packs, we should make some decent coins back. Lads, we're going to save the 50k pack till last because that's going to be like the main one, obviously, from marquee matchup rewards. Please, if we can get some decent cards here, we do need to make profit from this, um, from these items. So again, not looking great there, just a, just a generic gold rare, probably 2,000 coins. Silver rares are decent, I suppose, but I guess it wasn't too great of like a pack in general, so couldn't have expected too much from this. Not being great so far, but we've still got some big ones to come, so it is a bit of a gamble, obviously, like I mentioned. We haven't even had like an 83 rated item yet, though, which obviously isn't great. 79 Avila, again, just like 2,000 coins. Not really sure how many gold rares we're going to get from inside this pack, though. Again, just a one, but luckily for us... Um, as we know, we've been trading with them. Silver rares are currently pretty expensive as well. All right, boys, only a couple more to go. This one is guaranteed to be 81 rated or above um, for at least one of the items. Okay, that's cool. Do get ourselves a walkout. It is going to be... Sorry, not a walkout of boards. Card 84 rated Kieran Trippier. This is an item that's like very effective in SBCs as well. So he could sell for a bit, I think. Checking it out on Footbin, he's like 5.8 thousand coins. A um, couple more rares in here as well. Oh, this is a pack that's all rare. Not terrible then, because we'll always be able to sell the um, silver items, which is decent coins. So, probably make like 10k plus from this pack. Right then, lads, realistically, to um, have made marquee matchups at least break even, we probably need to get about 20k from this pack. Maybe a little bit more. Now, I'd say 20k when the cards on the transfer list do sell. Um, it's guaranteed to be 83 plus or above. Mate, it's a 50k pack, right? With the cards that are available right now, I'd be disappointed if we don't at least get a walkout, which we don't. That's crazy, man. Unfortunately, I've, I've been genuinely shafted. It's guaranteed 20k because it's all rare items. Maguire is probably like 5,000 coins being a Premier League centre-back, 84 overall. 
It's not going to be great. It could have been a lot worse, though. For, for a minute, it was looking bad. Right, then, lads, pretty good news. We've basically broken even already from selling marquee matchup rewards. Um, and we've still got quite a lot of them to go, especially, like, the more expensive ones, like Trippier, Harry Maguire, for example. Um, Tag Diafico, also close to, like, 5k due to his rating and position. So it, it will have made us around 20,000 coin profit, I do believe, in the end. What I'm going to do next is complete the Team Season Challenge SBCs to get the Summer Swap tokens. Right, we've completed this challenge. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even really care about the pack reward that you get from this. The main reason for doing these ones is for the, the Summer Swap tokens. Um, they're going to come in very useful down the line when we're actually able to submit them into challenges. Anyway, the pack's a bonus. May as well open it up. Unfortunately, those Team Season Challenges are going to be a bit of a coin sink considering the rewards are untradeable. And... Um, yeah, I mean, like, it just, it's necessary, unfortunately. It will be worth it. Who's this going to be? 84 rated Kai Havertz. That's actually pretty good fodder, to be honest. Can't complain too much. If we do get other rare items in there as well. Didn't even really see. Oh, majority of the pack is rare. That's pretty decent. I know that Bundesliga goalkeeper is super expensive right now as well. Like 4k plus. So that's actually a pretty good card to have. Maybe I'll find a use for him. A lot of, uh, a lot of non rares as well potentially put them into some other repeatable sbcs right then guys fortunately i didn't actually have to invest too much into this just because i already had a fair amount of cards in the club um so we'll submit this again another summer swap token and a pack which i believe again will be untradeable um like i mentioned though it, this is just an investment in the the tokens for the time being because i do believe it will be worth it in the end by the way, lads, I just went and checked the transfer list. We've still got around 15k worth of cards to sell. So, essentially, all the content that I've done today has cost around 10,000 coins. And in return for that, we got a bunch of untradeables and also um, the two tokens. So, pretty good value, in my opinion. It's going to be a silver rare. Yeah, not a great card that you want to see popping, is it, on the pack? 72 overall. I guess that means there's no gold rares inside this pack. It was an Electrum players, right? 8-2 rated. Oh, this is tradable as well. Hey, at least I'll be able to sell these cards for a couple of thousand coins considering they are silver rare. Right then, lads. My aim for the next 30 minutes is to win squad battles matches with this squad. Basically, it just has to be start 11 Brazilian and you need to win four games. From that, we'll get two tokens and also a pack as well, which is like a player pick of 83 rated cards. That should be pretty decent. Um, the next time you'll see me, hopefully, we'll have done that and have it all completed. Right then, lads, decent little session to uh, actually get a couple of tokens. First one was from the Casemiro. This was just from getting assists in four separate games. Um, so go ahead and redeem that. And then, obviously, two from um, the Brazilian objective. You do get a pack with this as well. And we've got a bunch of them to get through once we've gotten these tokens. All right then, guys, the next one is from Summer Swaps 2. Um, like I mentioned, this was for the Brazilian squad. And it looks like we do get two tokens as well as a player pick. We've got a couple of player picks available as well, um, which I'm going to have to do before ripping through packs. I mean, I guess they are kind of a pack anyway. We got these, the 82 plus ones, for doing the goal mastery, I do believe, or goal fest on the masteries. So, yeah, we'll see what we can get. Hopefully some decent rewards. Like I mentioned, guys, other than these picks, there's also loads of packs to get through, so I'm going to cut it into highlights and only show you the best ones. Potentially to get something decent from this, though. Lucas Moura, 93 overall, fits our squad perfectly as well, considering we have a lot of Brazilians. That's actually a really nice card to get. Jordan Henderson, 93 overall. I think this one actually is for the right. Foot captains, 4-star, four 4-star, four high attack and high defensive work rates. I mean, I could put him in instead of Allen. Because, um, obviously gets the link to Firmino. We'll take it though, lads. Again, another high-rated card. This is a little bit silly now. This is actually insane content from these. 94-rated Bernardo Silva. Even if it is only fodder, the rating that we've been able to get from these 1 of 3, 82 plus gold player picks has been ridiculous. Boys, again, another incredible card. We get 94-rated shapeshifter Andy Robertson. Um, I'm not even kidding. Like, they were a ridiculous selection of cards like that's mental every single one of them was a walkout a couple that could get into the team as well i mean this andy robo card actually pretty good high attack and high defense work rates as well four star four star could be interesting might change up the squad right then guys in true road to glory fashion we're going to be finishing up 
with an 85 plus times 10 upgrade pack. Um, I actually haven't had to buy any of these cards, and to be fair, not even submitting too much for this, so really happy with the value of this, and it comes out to be the perfect requirement. Now, of course, if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like, let's say if kind of 250 ratings, and do subscribe channel if you want you. Honestly, I don't even know what type of cards I want from this. Um, I suppose the, the foot heroes that we have as concepts would be good, so Dina Tarle, Cordoba, something like that. Um, to be honest though, guys, we've got a lot of fodder already in the club, so it's looking pretty like strong at the moment. It's going to be attacking midfield. Wirtz is actually a really solid card. Um, I remember when this card was actually team season, you know, during the Bundesliga. He was on the better ones. 95 overall is solid. There could be a lot of other items hidden inside this pack as well. We are looking for the foot captain cards, like I mentioned. Haaland, 95 overall. I think that's just going to be fodder, to be honest with you. 94 shapeshifter Rainer. Um, Lacro is solid, I suppose. Like, got really nice stats. Anthony Martial, actually a duplicate untradeable as well, kind of crazy. Not a great one, but some really nice fodder. High rated card, so be able to complete some other SBCs as a result of this pack. Anyway, those brings to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next episode.